everybody, good morning. Thanks for being here with me today. It is a gorgeous day. Uh, as you can see, my lawn needs to be mowed. <laughs> so that's on the agenda for this weekend. But for today, we're gonna be talking about boundaries. Okay, so if you don't know who I am, I'm uh, Rita Hickman. Hey, Barbara. I'm a body-mind expert, a shiatsu massage therapist, and my specialty is helping women navigate you know, all those things that keep them from being a really wonderful version of themselves, that keep them, you know, that make them burn out and get overstressed and really get stuck, especially when they get, hey Lillian, especially when they get to a certain point in their life where they just get overwhelmed, their coping tools don't work anymore. For me, you know, a little bit of my backstory is I had some uh, trauma in my past when I was very small and uh, a family that, let's say, encouraged or, or was a, a perfect setting for those dramas to happen. And uh, so I then had <laughs> to spend the majority of my life trying to figure out who I was and what was going on. And I developed really great coping skills, uh, but then around age 30, I hit a wall. And when I hit that wall, I realized I couldn't have the rest of my life, you know, the next 30 years, be like the first 30 were. Uh, hey Kelly, good to see you. So one of the things that has kind of evolved naturally out of this process and me getting into body work and, and loving what I do and working with fabulous women all over the world uh, with these challenges of how to manage pain and IBS and boundaries. Hey Deb, great to see you. So I'll tell you my secret to setting boundaries. Boundaries are very easy to set they're very comfortable and they're very casual. Hey, Jenny, when you are in a good space. Hey, and Kathy Ann's here too, we have a whole crowd. When you are in a good mental, emotional, and physical space, boundaries are very easy to set. So let's put you into a mindset. Think of a time that you felt great. Maybe you were um, sitting on a beach watching the water. Maybe you were in a park. Maybe you were doing something that you loved. And uh, let's just have an imagination, you know, a little imaginary spot. Let's say you're at the beach looking at the water and uh, someone kicks a soccer ball into your space and uh, kind of knocking sand around and things like that. You've been feeling good. You've been sitting at this beach for a while. You've been enjoying the sun and life is wonderful. You just, you're at peace. You've had your little Mai Tai, everything's good. And the kids come and kick the ball and some sand onto your stuff and you don't get mad. But what you do do is say, hey guys, take it over there, would you? Thanks, I appreciate it. You know, when you're in a good space, when you've been in a good space, let's say when you were at the beach, boundaries are very easy to set. Boundaries are hard to set when we're stressed out, when we're overwhelmed, when we feel guilty, when we feel ashamed, when we're dehydrated when we're, um, we have some stuck emotions we haven't dealt with. You know, now imagine that you're sitting there, uh, maybe running late, picking somebody up, and uh, you had five minutes to sit at the beach, and uh, this was your only break, and you're sitting there and the same thing happens. You're gonna be pissed. You're gonna tell them to get away from you. You can't believe they ruined your five minutes, That's that little bit of time that you had for yourself and uh, you just you've got no compassion and no understanding and you usually don't set boundaries because either you explode externally or you explode internally now i was talking to my psychologist the other day and she was telling me about because she still struggles with boundaries too and she was talking about how uh, someone was dropping off a car and she had clients and when they were dropping off the car they got very flustered this was a normal situation for them they've done this a ton of times they got flustered needed her credit card information and she had clients and at first she's like what's going on why are you being this way i have clients you need to leave me alone this will be fine and it just made him more flustered because she wasn't doing it from a centered good place when she realized that her energy was making everything worse that's when she said you know what, how about this? I can't give you my information now, but I will give you my information when I'm done with my clients, but I really need to go. And it was done caring and compassionately, and, and he's like, oh, okay. 
and then later on sent an he sent an apology email for, for being so disruptive to the situation. You know, when you think of somebody who's blowing up as someone who's in an emotional state, they can't see clearly, the thing that works best is when someone says to them, hey, you know, I understand things are tough right now, but I can't have you do this thing. You know, that's just not appropriate. But what usually happens is we're so stressed out and then angry that someone's imposing these things upon us that now we have to deal with their crap too, that we either internalize it and get sick or we externalize it and everybody thinks that we are crazy, out of control, and um, we end up not really getting along with people very well because we're so volatile. So my secret to setting boundaries is to do as many things in my life that make me feel good. Maybe it's dressing nice. You know, today I've got a very cute outfit on. I like it, a little bit of cleavage, but that's okay. <laughs> that can be fun sometimes. I'm sitting outside in my yard, in my bare feet, talking to you. Do you know how much fun this is, talking to you and seeing who shows up? You know, with some cool on my feet and feeling the air. Which means that if somebody came into my space, I'd be able to say, hey, you know what? I'm doing my live stream right now. And because I'm doing my live stream, I'll have to talk to you later. No big deal, no harm, no foul. You know, people really don't get upset because I'm not upset. I'm just clearly saying, you know what, I can't do this right now, but I'll be with you in just a minute. That's boundary setting. Boundary setting is when you are in a good place and you are comfortable and you're getting your needs met because you're making sure that you get your needs met. You are taking responsibility for getting your needs met and you're doing things that make you feel good. And when that happens, it's very easy to say, you know what, this one I'm going to have to pass. It's, I, you know, it's just not going to work for me. And even when they pour on the guilt, but I need you there, but I want you there, you're able to see past their emotion and say, you know what, it sounds like you're really, you know, nervous about this. How about we come up with a strategy, you know, to help you be less nervous, to help you feel connected to me and not so alone, but I want you there. No, I totally get it, but this isn't going to work out. But what will? Let's problem solve it. When you feel good, you're in your rational frontal lobe and you're able to solve problems and set boundaries. When you are stressed out and dehydrated and sugar levels all screwed up and you didn't get enough sleep and you don't feel good about yourself and you're gaining weight and your stomach's giving you problems, you don't set good boundaries because you either explode or you internalize. And one creates a bad external environment and the other one makes you feel sick. Hey, Christine, good to see you. So that is my secret for setting boundaries today. Do as many things as you can, take responsibility for it that makes you feel good, and then boundaries come as a very natural, normal side effect. Okay, so here's your homework for today. Your homework is to do at least five things, five. Hey, Kat, good to see you. I know, that's a big number. Do at least five things that make you feel good today. They could be small. It could be something as simple as taking your shoes and socks off you know, and feeling the ground, or it could be getting into some sunshine, or, you know, me mowing my grass later today. It could be any one of those things that fulfills you in some way and makes you feel good. When you do things that make you feel good, boundaries come as a total natural side effect. Okay, so five things that make you feel good. Now, because of how Facebook works, I need you to like, share, comment, comment on other people's comments, because this information is so important. And if we want our friends and our family and the people we care about and our coworkers to start looking at the world in a more compassionate, kind way, then we've got to get this information out. So like, share, comment, comment on other people's comments and share the cool things that you're doing because I so want to hear about them so that uh, I can support you and nurture you through this journey. Now, if you feel stuck, on anything, let's say about setting boundaries or how to do things that make you feel good or even just uh, a first step to do something that makes you feel good, give me a call. I'll give you a free consult, a free coaching thing. We'll, we'll process through it and then maybe you'll want to come see me for body work, which is awesome. It's one of the best ways to get your needs met. Okay, so thanks for checking me out today. I hope you have a great day and I'm going to talk to you tomorrow. Bye.